So in today's session, we will be talking about uploading new designs and uh, the guidelines for the highest quality prints that uh, you can make with the Ripple Maker. Channels and design management, and how to control your channels and keep them organized and great little features that you may not have realized that are there. I'm gonna talk about changing your display location name that's in the Ripple's web app and a little bit about the Ripple's Help Center. After we go through all that, we'll have some time for questions. So please, if you have some questions, definitely let me know. So first things first, we're gonna dive right into the cloud. And let me just pull over another screen. So that's my.drinkripples.com. If you don't have a login, please reach out to our amazing support team. They will help you out and create a login for you and get you started. The Ripples Cloud is a really great tool to help manage your content and control um, what your guests see on the Ripple Maker and the Ripples app. I like to go all the way down to devices first. This is where you can see what's on your Ripple Maker or your mobile device. So I'm gonna click Ripple Maker, we'll start there. And the first thing you'll wanna do is if you have more than one location that is, is select which location you'd like to control or edit. So we're gonna start with Emily's Coffee Shop. We're already on that one. So this is our main dashboard. We can see everything we need to know right from here. I love working this way. It's a little bit more efficient. You'll see that the first three channels here have little links above them. Those are Ripple's dynamic content. They're provided to you from our Ripple's creative team here. They're going to be refreshed once a month with brand new fun and fresh content. And as you can see, when I hover over each little channel, a little eye pops up and you can actually click on that eye and see what's inside of it. Or you can click on this eye here in the top right hand corner. This is going to show us exactly what's on our machine right now. So here we can see the ripples trending. That's what's trending here in Israel. And we have also coffee trending because we are printing on coffee with my machine and also what's popular this month. This down here is my coffee time channel. We're going to talk a little bit more about custom channels in just a moment. So I want to share another slide with you that I really think it's the messaging across. There are a few design guidelines that you should consider when creating new designs to print with the Ripple Maker. What you're looking for is larger and thicker lines in your design, um, as opposed to really thin or fine lines. You want to have, um, again, here's another example of like something being too detailed. If there's too, too many details and they're too fine, they won't come out in the highest quality as opposed to this guy here who's very defined and very bold images. Also here we see another thick outline. This one's great for selfies. Um, it, a selfie sent through the app always looks a little bit better if there's a space around the actual face and the white background behind it. So here the image is cluttered. It'll be harder to read on top of a beverage. And the one more focused image is always a stronger impact. You of course want your images to be high resolution as opposed to being pixelated. The cloud only accepts JPEG or PNG images that are 1700 by 1700 pixels and black and white is best. You can go for grayscale. There are no color scales yet. So now that we talked a little bit about design guidelines, let's upload some images. Here we have our first custom channel. And I just got a phone call that should have been on mute. So our first custom channel is called Coffee Time. We mentioned it earlier. Here you can actually add and create channels. Select a channel is going to be from previously created channels. We'll talk about that soon. And you can create a channel right here on your Ripple Maker. So we're gonna go ahead and click Create Channel. When you first create a channel, you want to give it a name. So for our creation channel, we are going to call it um, Party. And make it a 
make a donut and click save. Our next step after that, you're going to see here underneath it says no ripples. That means there's no designs yet assigned to this channel. We can click on that pencil and start editing that channel specifically. So we have a few different options once you're inside each channel. You can start by assigning ripples and this will allow you to select from previously uploaded designs that you've already loaded into the ripples cloud or you can upload directly from your computer and that's where we're going to start today. You'll see once you click upload, you'll have a red plus. You'll want to click that and find the folder that has the images in it. So we're going to go desktop, work, and designs. So if you see some designs that you would like to upload, just click and control, click, and click open and you can upload many designs at once, or you can do one by one. If you accidentally uploaded some images that you weren't looking to upload, you can hit that little X and it will get rid of it. Some tags, we'll add some fresh, spring, so we can find them later on. For personalized and frame, these two parameters we're going to talk about for the mobile device. They're not relevant for the Ripple Maker, these two. So we don't need to actually edit them at all. When you're ready, click Upload All. And then you'll be brought to the Dates section. You have to select some dates that you would like the images shown on. You can use the calendar here to go through the months and click and select the dates. But if you'd like them to go onto your Ripple Maker much longer, it's actually quite hidden, but that 2021, you can click on that and uh, maybe scroll and have them expire in 2030 if you'd like. So when you're ready, click OK and assign to channel down here at the bottom. So if we go back to Ripple Maker, can see that those are our images that we've just added to our party channel. So we are all set and we've added new images, but we also want that channel to be on our mobile device. So we can actually go to our mobile device and this time we're going to select a channel and you can choose from previously uploaded um, created channels in this section. So click the channel you would like and click save. Now we've added it to the Ripples app. So if you're using the Ripples web app, these are the images you will see on the app. Again, you can click on the eye, just like in the Ripple Maker, and see everything that you have here. Uh, there's another feature here, it's called following. If you're doing an event that you exclusively want your designs available only through the app, um, you can click the link and you will unfollow the Ripple's default content, and you'll have just your content available there. But we offer amazing content. There's so much fun to stuff to choose from, so I highly suggest following us. We also want to talk a little bit about uh, frames, and frames are specific to the mobile device, and I get a lot of questions about how to upload and create frames. So I like to organize my frames in a separate channel so we can keep an eye on where they are and organize them how we like them. So like I did before, I hit create channel and I've created my frames channel and I want to actually edit with a pencil and back to the computer and click that plus. You can also drag and drop images in here if you've got your file open. So we've got a bunch of different frames here. A few points to talk about frames. You should definitely choose images that are 1700 by 1700 pixels, but if you look closely at the images up here, they're, it, they're PNG, so they've got a part of it that is opaque, that's the white behind the text, and a part of it is transparent. So it leaves space for people's faces, for selfies, and space for text to be written on in the Ripples app. And when you do upload a frame, you want to select Yes, and that is extremely important. Otherwise, they won't be applied as frames and the app won't use them as frames. So always click yes to frames when you are uploading frames. Click upload all. 
We grabbed a bunch, so it'll take a second. And of course, choose your dates. These are the end dates and we'll have them run all month long. When you're ready, click assign to channel. And now we've added some very special frames into our um, mobile app. There are so many different frames that you can do. It's a great way to get your branding in front of your customers. We like the one with the at drink ripples hashtag. So anyone who uses it knows immediately where to find us on Instagram. There's some really kind of Snapchat style filters where you can augment a hat on top of your head or many different things. Literally the sky is the limit. And that's a little bit about frames. You'll also notice inside of each channel, there is a special arrange ripples button that's up here at the top right hand corner. If you click that, we're going to be able to edit the order inside of the channel. So this will be reflected in the ripples app as well. If we wanna make sure our branding is front and center, we can just move it and it will save it where we would like it to be. Or if you've got a theme going on, we've got some coffee ones going on and this one's winter. So now there's a, a little bit better organization going on in the frame channel. So it's a really great way to organize your images and designs. You can do that also in your regular channels, not just for your frames. So um, it will take about an hour for these images to appear on the Ripples app and sometimes also on your Ripple Maker. So once you're ready, we are gonna go and start talking about the My Designs section. In my channels, this is where all of your channels are going to stay. You can create channels on the Ripple Maker or the mobile device. As you can see, we've got the party and the frames channel. They're going to stay here. But if you've got upcoming events that you would like, you can create channels in advance. So let's call this one Valentine's. Now we've got the little heart icon and click save. So now when you do create a channel through my channels, you have to select which location you would like that image, like that channel on. So we're gonna click Emily's Coffee Shop and Ripple Maker and Publish. So now if we go back to Ripple Maker, we'll see that that channel is now there, but it's still empty. So since it's published, we're gonna click that pencil icon and this time we're going to select from previously uploaded images. So you can actually search your images by tags if you do use the different tag features. This is a great way to keep things organized straight from the beginning. And looked up love, I know I've used it a few times. So you can grab all the images that speak to you and that are perfect for Valentine's Day and click upload. And of course, you'll be asked for those dates. So we want those to start actually on the 1st of February. And we're going to have them end on, let's say, the 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. When you're ready, assign to channel. And now we've got our Valentine's Day channel all scheduled and ready to go. So that's all about channels. Um, the next section under designs is my ripples. We're kind of going backwards. I like that flow a little bit better. My Ripples is your library, and this is where you can find every image you've ever uploaded. So if you've used tags before, you can search them by the different tags you've used. Let's see if we've got party. No party flower, but maybe we got party. Of course we do. And from here, you can control select as many images as you like and actually assign them to a channel you'll be able to select different um, channels from this section. So all the party ripples definitely should go under party. And we are going to hopefully have a party on the 16th of February and we'll just have it end on the 17th. So just for our party, we have some very exclusive party designs. We are going to assign to channel. So if you go back to our ripple maker we can see all those images. If we click here, we've got, did I click the right one? Okay, so we've got party. Our party channel is there with all the images that we've just added. And 
and the internet's going a little bit slower than I'd like. Not keeping up with me today. There we go. So as you can see, our party channel is now full, and that's on the Ribble Maker. Under locations, we didn't cover locations yet. Locations is if you have multiple machines or just one machine, you'll be able to see where all your Ribble Makers are and their serial numbers are going to be here and what type of content you are displaying. That little coffee means I am following coffee content. So you'll get images that are more relevant for coffee beverages. We also have evening for the PM machines, more beer related and cocktail content. Here you'll see also a pencil and a little link button. We're going to talk about both of those. The pencil, it's a really fun um, feature here on the cloud. You can actually change the name of the Ripples app inside the cloud. So you can edit it to whatever you want. Maybe you're having a special Valentine's party. And you can change the display address. So once you're opened up the Ripples app, you'll find this location instead. And your guests and your customers will know exactly where they are. So let's call it 39 Love Street. Why not? And save the location. So you've just edited it and you'll see that it actually changes in the cloud to whichever you've changed it to. So the extra button that we have here is the link button. This will actually allow you to download the QR code for the Ripples web app. This is very handy if you want to create posters that are especially designed for your location. So this is the QR code that you can download and add to anywheres, or you can copy the link by clicking the link button and it copies it. And you can add that to your digital menus. It's a great way to um, get your customers interacting and engaging with your um, Ripple Maker. So another not final point, but uh, I do want to mention our help center. Our help center is filled with information that will be very helpful for you if you know how to navigate it. So this is our website, www.drinkripples.com. And it's always quite busy and exciting, but there's a special section just for customers and you should know about it. Here under the help center, We've put a lot of work and there's a lot of information in here. You can find just about anything that you're looking for. So today's um, webinar will be recorded and we will actually post it online. So I searched up ripples and uh, now I have a bunch of different informations, but we can also look up webinars. So everything that we've done so far, created learning materials, it'll all be available for you here online. You can just uh, quickly search it and it'll be there for you. So I have covered all of the basics in the Ripples Cloud. Does anybody have any questions? Hi, Emily. I have a question, quick, real quick. Absolutely. Hey, uh, it's regarding scheduling images to upload for a later date. Um, if I schedule, if I want images to upload Saturday morning, if I upload them Wednesday at 9 a.m., will they upload to my machine Saturday at 9 a.m.? Is that how it works? Is it the same time? Or, yeah. Absolutely. So they should be syncing with our servers and um, that channel where you've scheduled it it will be scheduled by the date. So actually from around midnight, our servers change. So, cause you don't have an hour, you can't really select an hour for okay. each image. So I would definitely recommend the day before the event starts. And that way, you know, for sure that they're on the machine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Eric. So we had a bit of a smaller class today. I'm so glad you could all join us here. And uh, if anyone has any more questions, we'll be hanging out for another minute or so. But other than that, class is dismissed. Um, please check in soon so you can see other upcoming webinars that we have. The next one I think we're doing is going to be for Valentine's Day and a special cocktail making session with one of our talented bartenders here in Israel is going to teach me some fancy recipes. So. 
stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to those newsletters. You'll be getting it sent out shortly, I am sure. So until next time, stay healthy and have a great couple of weeks until we meet again. All right, no more questions, friends. If not, we'll talk to you later. Have a great weekend and we'll see you all soon. Thank you again. Bye.